So we had to take a necessary break on the Celica because um, we're still missing a couple parts to finish up the swap. But for now, I'm going to do something that I've wanted to do since I bought this car. <laughs> is switch out the leather seats. I know these are really, really great. What? <laughs> are you <t> <laughs> hey, Recording. You try to rob no one's trying to rob you. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. Urban over here um, <laughs> messing with me while I'm unloading and loading the silica seats. So I can't do this with two, one hand, but one bolt, two bolts, three, and then there's another one back there. And then obviously there's the, the wire for the for the weight sensor to know when someone's sitting down, but I already got this off, so I'm gonna go load it up in the reliable matrix. We got the interior inside, so let's head back home. All right, good old reliable matrix, 233 on the original engine and trans. Check engine light, speed sensor, but we'll get that figured out today. So we are here inside my room. <laughs> There's literally no space inside my room other than this right here. And it's for like a comparison side by side on the seats. So this is what you would commonly find in a GT. Um, usually come with leather seats, I believe. And this is um, Beams style, if I'm not mistaken. I don't know. Anyways, this is pretty much how to convert your leather seats into this style. It's not hard, but it's just really time consuming and it's, it's annoying. It took me about an hour and 30 minutes to do this one, but I feel like now that I know what I'm doing, it should be a little bit quicker to do this one. So, um, I did show you guys. If not, then here's the cover. That's the seat portion. I already went ahead and washed these beforehand. And here's the back portion it's a bit oops glasses fell down there it's a bit creased right here from shipping but i feel like over time with the sun it should kind of even out you can see it happening right there but regardless they, they look better than than that <laughs> they just they just scream retro and i like that so yeah gonna install this one on that one but we have to remove the leather and i will show you guys how one tool i did buy that i didn't have was this dewalt p7dw it's basically hog ring tool you need a hog ring tool for it and i believe the proper term for these are dikes so these were the only two two tools I use. So the first thing you want to do is flip the seat over and you're going to first tackle these three hog rings right here and just cut them and should be enough to start pulling the seat cover off. So I already went ahead and cut them and should start pulling apart and just want to make sure to grab all the the old pieces and just throw them away don't want to leave them on the floor because then you're gonna step barefooted and maybe poke one <laughs> you're gonna want to cut the hog rings all along the back side that hold the straps for the front leather and just slip it through like so and just start pulling up and about right here you're gonna not be able to go any further because there's more hog rings right here. So just do one side first, do it about halfway, and then go to the other side, same procedure. So once you pull it off like that, you're gonna come right here and you're gonna have a couple of hog rings. You can see one right there, one right there. 
one right there, and then another two over here, right there, right there. Cut them all off. So I have her removed now, and it should be able to slip right out the cover, but can't do this with one hand, so I'll show you guys right after. I got there's one more up here, one hog ring right there. Look at all that rust. Cut that hog ring. Same goes with the other side over here. And now it should be able to come off. Just gotta slip it through these, both of them. So now it's finally removed. And in order to get this one off, make it easier for yourself, you can flip this over. And you have four 12 millimeter bolts. Take those off and you should be able to remove this really easy. So this one should slip out easier than the driver's side one because the driver's side one has a knob that twists to raise the seat up or down, but it's only held on by a C-clip, so that's really easy to remove. But this one's the passenger side, so it just falls out. So I reversed the cloth cover and there's less points to the strap on the cloth version. Um, I don't know why, maybe because the leather has to stretch a lot more, so they added more points to use the hog rings. But basically what you're gonna do here is apply this really close. Sorry about that, she hands. <laughs> but apply this really close to the other rod right there and use the hog ring to clamp it here, here, and here. It's already installed, it. one right there. Kind of did two right here just for added security. Same with the way here. And now we should be able to put the seat cover back on. So now just pull the seat down like so. And make sure you slip these through the hole. Look through, nice and easy. I don't know if it was because they had these stored somewhere bad, but there's a huge indentation on the headrest. So what I'm gonna be doing is removing the cover and putting it over to the to the leather one. Really simple to take off though. All you have to do is just pull this, this out. You pull this out and it comes off. And it's just like that, it comes off. And you have to pretty much fight it in a way to pull this off. The leather one's a lot harder than the cloth one, but it shouldn't be too bad. I already switched it out to the leather one. Should be good. So now let's install it. So for the bottom portion, you wanna cut off these hog rings right here. Same for this side and the whole seat cover should slide off easy. So now we're gonna focus on this, and this one has a lot of hog rings. You have one right there, and then you have one right there, and then there's another one. Do you can see it? Hog ring. So you basically have one, one, two, three singles on the other side one two three and then you have three right here one two three yeah so it's not that easy folks so then there's a whole row over here uh, one Two. What's so gross? What's gross? On the crap on the inside. Oh. Well, anyways. <laughs> Seat covers off. Pui. Let's get the JDM AF one. Oh, here you have it. There you go. So I got one right there, 
another one over here and now i'm gonna attach these two right here and right there got one right there another one over here now we're gonna repeat the same on the other side right here and right here so now already got this one both on and this one here so now i'll just start putting the seeker over I highly suggest you start from the middle right here first and then work your way to the ends. And this plus the groove right here. See the opening? It has to slip through here. Just gotta flip it like that. So there you have it. I already flipped them over. And now this is gonna be the last part. Just get these ear flaps and just right here. They're gonna go right here, hog ring, and then hog ring. Same goes with the other side, like that. And just like that, it's done. Now let's bolt it back up. We'll touch all four of our 12 millimeters to back the at seat. it with the seats. Already went ahead and installed the front ones. There's a lot of lint from the brush I was using, so I'm probably gonna come over here with a a lint roller and just start um getting all this shit but just just having them right there feels really nice like like these seats look so good i got so many compliments on them everyone got jelly <laughs> but anyways maybe another day i'll show them a lot better in the sunlight but these things just look gorgeous well worth my money I can proudly say I'm the only one in my area with them. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. 